deadly in there with his head as well as his fist. And there's an example of it. Gun is down. It's only round three. He's been down before and he's got up. There's a bad cut on his left eye. I didn't see what happened there. I didn't see whether it was a point, whether it was a slip, or what happened, or it was a clash of heads. I didn't see what happened. But it certainly has got a cut. Comes to what's going for it now. And there's blood flowing out of dung around the left hand side. It's becoming a bit of a rough house now. Now I know Bernard is in a fight, but he wanted to get out of that fight and keep it in range. Not easy to remember and not easy to do when the crowd's on its feet and urging you on. Look at the punch of our head rubbing along the forehead of Dunn. Good stuff by Dunn. This is what he has to do. Keep. Another good one. Another one I didn't, I didn't see a punch. I, I, I did like not see a punch. Muhammad Ali phantom punch. When it got in there, once he's in close, this man throws that right hand, he threw it again and done. These are buckling. The WBA is the only association that has a three count rule. And Dunn is down, and if you're down the third team, a third time, and that is it. Bernard Dunn has lost his world title. It's a sad moment for the little and kindly man. But the world title is gone, and Punsawat from Thailand is the new champion of the world. What a little fighter he is. And his first concern is to go over towards Dunn, but the referee's not having any of it, and is pushing him away. Seems reminiscent of when Dunn was worried about Cordoba in March. That was a sensational finish. Comes to what there with the promoter and Bernard Dunn's manager. A very tentatively on his feet and turn it down. Shaking his head as though he's saying, I'm sorry, Bernard, you have nothing to be sorry about. Nothing. He's been a wonderful champion of this continent and of the world. Well, that's a costly defeat for him because it puts the Vasquez fight away beyond the horizon and it takes away a belt that he looked so hard for. And he'd been doing so well there. He was doing extremely well. I did not see the, the first points that put him. I didn't see where it came from. didn't see what happened. I would just love to have a look at the VT here just to see exactly what happened. Now you'll have a look now. Here we go. Bang. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yes, that's it. Right bang on the money. Yeah, look. There's, you don't get many of the pound, that's Once he gets sure. in there, then he was deadly. Yep. We said it at the start yep. of the program. Yep. What Bernard Dunn should have done at all times, keep him at arms. I know that's hard at times, but listen, when you're meeting and you're fighting a guy like Punsawat, who's a very hard punch and a very durable guy, you have to do things that you don't normally do, and that's get on your bike and stick and move. Which he had done to perfection up until then. The first two rounds were perfect. You know, he did everything right. It was on his bike, he, was, he had the upper hand. But then that first left hook to me, that was the one that, that was a smashing punch. Did an awful lot of damage, and there was no return after that. That punch was unbelievable. It was that good and that quick the first time I didn't see it? It was perfect. The man who didn't see it either was Bernard Dunn. But he most certainly felt it, and he's having a breathing apparatus attached to no concern. It's just uh, precautionary. To give uh, Philip the lungs, but this little man with the altar boy face and the several names and ears that bar the scars of kickboxing came away from home, how many miles from Thailand to Dublin, to try and take a title of one of Ireland's favourite sons. It takes some doing, and he did it. You don't often get a lot of credit on the road. But we're in the business of doing that when somebody deserves it. And my goodness, he is some puncher. Once he got in close, I was the one at the very top who warned. If he got in there, looked at all the DVDs, once he got in close, he was deadly. 
and when he did, he finished it. Just waiting on the official announcement, which will be coming up very shortly from Mike Goodall. And the people from Thailand are beside us here now with the flags, and rightly so. Punt. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 57 seconds of round three, on the three knockdown rule, the winner and new Super Bantamweight champion of the world, Thailand, Punswat Krating Dejim. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'd like to give a big, big round of applause for Dublin's Hernandez. He'll be attended to over in his own corner. He's been a great champion. He's been a great credit to boxing. And he can't win them all, and he certainly didn't win this one. And I wouldn't mind, but he's been doing so well, so well in the first two rounds. And then it truly came apart. Ladies and gentlemen, Bernadine! His dad is in the ring there with him. And I think he's pretty well come to now. He looks sad. Imagine the amount of work he's put into this. That's his wife. The amount of work he's put into it. The amount of work to get to this level. And as I said before, it's rather like snakes and ladders. You get so high, and suddenly you hit the snake's tail and you go down the ladder. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, Marty is with Colonel Dunn. Marty. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Uh, I'm joined by Kerry Punsawat's uh, manager. First of all, congratulations. You're uh, a, a worthy champion. You're, you're, give me your thoughts. This is, I mean, we can, I know you came to Ireland with uh, Punsawat with a huge reputation, but uh, this was a very impressive performance. Yeah, he he been trained very hard for the the last three months, and he waiting for this opportunity for like a year and a half. Yeah, so yeah, this is all. In, in terms of what this will mean back to the people of Thailand, you now have a world champion. That will mean an awful lot, I'm sure. Yes, of course. You know, he is the most popular boxer in, in our nation. And, you know, today he, he did it. And everybody in, in Thailand will be happy. Well, well done, and congratulations, Munsumak. Well done. Bernard Dunn. First question, Bernard Dunn. Are you all right, Hulk? Are you all right? Now, Bernard, you are a true champion, but this is, this is a tough moment. There's so many people, and, you know, it's, it's, it's been a, it's, 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 it's a tough time at the moment here for the Irish people. And especially for the Irish boxing people, you know, with the passing of Darren, and just the Irish people in general. And I wanted so badly, you know, this week to kind of, you know, lift, lift the mood and, you know, make, you know, just give people a bit of joy. And well, there are, you know, it's, I, you know, it's, the, you know, I, I, I knew what to expect from Pinsua, you know, I knew he was going to be aggressive early. And you know, it's just, I got lured into fighting and I shouldn't have, and it's my own stupid fault, to be honest. And, you know, we've been, we've been down before, you know, and we've come back and won a world title. You know, it's going to take me a long time to get over this, but I will get over it and I, I will come back for it. If I can verbalize, what the people of Ireland, and indeed the 9,000 people here in the O2 are saying is, we think you are a world champion, Bernard Dunn. And we know, first of all, we've been on an incredible journey, so we know you're going to bounce back. You know, it's, you know, I, I, I have no complaints. Everything, everything went right for this fight. You know, I was, I was in great condition. You know, physically I was ready, you know, Everybody's looked after me so well this week, you know, my coaches, you know, my family, 
you know, even even 